What's up, you guys? This is Joey. I wanted to come here. Um, I'm on a lunch break. Let me see how many minutes I have on this lunch break. Okay, yeah. I'm on a lunch break right now, and I wanted to come to you guys with a quick message. And uh, to tell you guys that it is okay to set healthy boundaries with people. And it is, uh, setting healthy boundaries with people is a necessity. That's something that we should always be doing. And we should never feel that it is not... Um, we should never feel that it's um, selfish or we should never feel that it is not like it's not right for us to do that. Right. Because we should never live our lives and let other people feel that it's OK for them to infringe on our personal space. Right. We should never allow people to think that it is OK for them to come into our personal space, talk to us in any kind of way treat us any kind of way and think that it is okay a lot of times some of us who are um calm cool and collected uh maybe some people who have home training who are maybe a little more quiet and reserved than other people people tend to think that it is that you're maybe soft or they think that um you're more so of the quote unquote doormat type of person and that it is okay for them to come and just say whatever they want to say and do what they want to do. Now, what's prompted me to, to make this video is is an incident that I just had this morning with a coworker. Mind you, usually normally I am like calm and composed and people say like stupid stuff to me. You know, they may say in something that's insulting to me. But I will be like, you know, calm and collected. But this time they caught me on the at the wrong time. And I said something that hurt their feelings. But my thing is like, at that point, I needed to do what I had to do to get them out of my personal space and out of my personal business. And to send out the message or send out the correct, you know, type of energy that tells them, hey, I have my boundaries. Don't cross the line with me. You know what I'm saying? Respect me. Um, and I'll respect you. I'm not telling everybody to go out there and like talk crap to people or like snap at people and whatever, but I'm saying that we have to make sure that we are setting healthy boundaries with, um, people who we are around and, uh, just to send out the healthy, the healthy message that, Hey, these are, this is the line that I'm drawing here. Don't cross it, you know? That's for your own sanity and your own well-being. Because if you don't set boundaries, people will walk all over your personal space and feel that they could talk to you any kind of way, feel that they could do whatever they want to do, and it can mess up your 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 vibration, mess up your vibes, right? Um, not only can it mess up your vibes, it could throw you off path. Let's say let's say you're trying to manifest something, right? You're trying to when you're manifesting, you want to make sure that your vibes are high, right? I'm trying to manifest something right now, so. I don't need anybody coming into my personal space talking shit to me or, you know, um, trying to bring me negativity. I don't need that. And if I have that, I'm going to swiftly move you out of the way so I can get back to what I'm doing, you know. And that's what I'm saying. It's like it's we got to do that. If we feel if people make us feel uncomfortable, we have to send the message out that, hey, you know, you're crossing the line. I'm uncomfortable with you saying X, Y, Z to me. Um, don't say that to me, you know, don't, don't do me like that. You know, don't treat me in that kind of way, especially if I'm not treating you in that same kind of way, you know, don't approach me like that. Don't talk to me like that, you know? And also we have to let them know, like we have to speak up, right? We have to voice out the way that we feel that we're feeling uncomfortable with people and then, um, crossing the line with us or, coming into our personal space. And this is also with people who might be coming into your personal space in ways like they want to they wanna be all up in your business, you know? They want to ask you personal questions that they shouldn't be asking you. Or, you know, they want to, like, like what happened to me today, like somebody was trying to, like, um, talk about something that I was wearing, you know? Like uh, this sweatshirt that I was wearing. They told me this sweatshirt was too tight. You guys see how much room I got in this sweatshirt, right? They told me it was too tight. Like, where the hell is this tight? Like, the fuck is you talking about? Like, 
That's what I'm talking about. Is like people will come into your environment to try to tear you down because maybe they see something in you that other people don't see. Maybe they sense your light, you know, uh, you're vibing high and they, they, they can um, intuitively or subconsciously um, sense that. And then they may try to like knock you down, you know, take you off your, I don't want to say pedestal because I'm not ever on a pedestal looking down at people, but um, maybe they feel maybe they feel that you are above them in some kind of way. Maybe they're jealous of something, you know, especially if they're talking about your appearance, because I have people talking about my appearance at work, like, you know, talking about my hair, or talking about the clothes that I wear or talking about um, eye color or ethnic background, some stupid shit like that is like when people start being petty like that you know that it's it involves like some level of envy jealousy it's very very childish you know very very childish that's why i say it is very important for us to have healthy boundaries draw the line with people don't let nobody invade your space don't let people talk to you in any kind of way don't let people bring negativity to you especially if you're not on that all right it, that even comes down to like people conversations that people have you know, if somebody is coming to you, bringing you a negative conversation with you, gloom and doom, stuff like that, and you're not naturally on gloom and doom, let them know you don't want you to th thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to have that conversation with you. I'm not I'm not into that. You know what I'm saying? And if they can't deal with it, if they keep trying to force the conversation on you, then you got to shut it down. Wh whichever way you feel you have to shut it down, you got to shut it down, you know? But the key um, point that I'm trying to make is setting boundaries with people. Don't let people invade your space. Don't let them uh, put their negative energy onto you, especially if you're an empath like I am. You know, you can't let people bring their negativity on you. You have to every day you, you go outside of your house. You have to protect yourself. OK, you got to stay cognizant that everybody's not going to have your best interests at heart. Everybody's not caring and kind like you might be. So at the same time, you have to set boundaries and set rules. And people could think that you're mean all they want to, you know. At the end of the day, it's about you maintaining a level of comfort within yourself, right? You may, because especially if you don't violate people, don't let nobody violate you, you know. Don't let anybody come into your personal space and violate your mood and the zone that you're in. Like I said before, especially if you are manifesting, if you are in manifestation mode, don't let them uh, come in and try to like throw you off your path. Right. You want to you want to make sure that you protect yourself at all costs by any means necessary, baby. You know what I'm saying? Knock their ass out if you have to. I'm just kidding here. I'm not promoting violence on this channel, but I'm just saying, you know, protect yourself. OK, you guys. Um, that's all I had to say to you guys today. I wish you guys much love and light and peace. Okay, take care. Ciao.